Hi there guys, uh, it's Jai here from Body Conquest uh, and I'm just going to be uh, giving you a quick chat today about uh, the utilisation of high glycemic carbohydrates during your workout period. So um, at Body Conquest we uh, generally get our clients to do a bit of a creatine cycling, uh, much the same as metabolic precision reports and we do have reports on how the best way to utilise that is. Now, in conjunction with that, we also get a lot of our clients, especially once they become um, glucose tolerant and reduce their insulin resistance, we start to get them to take a high glycemic carbohydrate around training time. And depending on the size of the body and whether you're male or female and how sensitive you are to carbohydrates, uh, depends greatly on the dose that you would be taking and that's something that we can experiment with uh, with you as you um, go through several 12-week blocks at Body Conquest. Now there are a whole heap of different high glycemic carbohydrates that are used in the fitness industry um, and some of them are better than others uh, and some of them actually are completely false in their claims of what they actually do and that's something you've got to watch out for because of uh, the way that some studies have been done and then other companies have taken that study and gone off and done their own thing and go, oh, well, if A works, then B should work and it doesn't exactly equate to that. So first of all, the main carbohydrates that most people would uh, know about when it comes to pre and during intra-workout sort of uh, supplementation would be your glucose and possibly maltodextrin, which is another type of carbohydrate that works similar to glucose um, in, in that it, it is um, fast absorption. Um, generally it's seen as the fastest absorbing carbohydrates um, are available in nature. And uh, generally what we would try and get our clients to do is take a dose uh, dependent again upon your body weight, but generally for most girls that might be somewhere around about the 35 gram mark, and for most guys it might be about the 70 gram mark. And they would have that in their pre-workout protein shake, so around about 15 minutes prior to their workout. And then we're gonna take another dose of about the same amount during our workout. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to create a spike in our anabolic hormone insulin. Now I know that insulin gets a dirty word quite often when it comes to nutrition because insulin is our uh, storer of fats if it's in the wrong environment. Insulin, insulin resistance, type two diabetes, everyone gets associated with that when it comes to di uh, you know, uh, the, the insulin. But insulin is a very handy hormone. In fact, it's the most anabolic hormone that is available in our body. Hence why a lot of your big pro bodybuilders, one of the major drugs that they will actually inject is insulin because it's gonna create massive growth. Insulin is a transporter of nutrients from our gut through into our muscles, okay? And it creates basically like a floodgate. It opens a floodgate for all that nutrients to hit our muscles and it switches on a whole heap of receptors that are gonna allow for and encourage growth in our muscles, okay? So by taking that dose of carbohydrates pre-workout, <clears throat> excuse me, we're starting off that process of getting our body to want to take the nutrients in that's going to improve our results during our training. And then we're gonna take another dose throughout our workout so that we're already jump-starting our post-workout results of keeping our body anabolic as opposed to usually what happens around that 40 to 45 minute mark where our body starts to go into a catabolic phase. We wanna counteract that and get our body continuing with the anabolism that, uh, that we will get through the nutrient flow. Now, one of the other supplements that I tend to get a lot of clients to take if they have the extra cash, as opposed to glucose and maltodextrin, is something called Vitago. And if you can see that, can you see that? Or do you need to scan in that? It's good. Okay, so Vitago is what we call an engineered carbohydrate. It's taken from uh, starchy carbohydrates such as barley and uh, waxy maize. And we'll talk about waxy maize in a little bit. Now what they've done is they've taken those carbohydrates and then they've engineered them so that it actually is broken down into something that works similar to your glucose and maltodextrin, um, but actually is better. Now they've actually done university studies that have shown that it will spike insulin far faster than glucose, it will spike it higher than glucose, and the insulin spike actually lasts longer than glucose or maltodextrin both, okay? 
Now that's quite important because the higher that we spike insulin, the greater the anabolic um, uh, reaction that we get within our body. And the longer the insulin spike, the greater the amount of nutrients that we can shunt into our body during our training and post-workout when we want to be trying to restore our glycogen and get our body to grow. Now the biggest mistake that a lot of people make and what a lot of companies have tried to make is they figure, well, if Vitago was made from substances such as barley starches and waxy maize, why don't we just take waxy maize and purport that to do the same process? And the studies have actually shown, and these are, again, university studies have shown, that waxy maize starch does absolutely nothing for our insulin receptors. Doesn't do anywhere near even what glucose and maltodextrin do. So really you're flushing money up the wall when you buy maltodextrin. Vitago, on the other hand, is still a great substance. And um, uh, unlike a lot of other um, uh, carbohydrates, such as your glucose and maltodextrin, which can sometimes cause a little bit of an upset tummy or bloating, uh, Vitago very um, um, uh, quite often will not cause that. Um, the people that do tend to react from a little bit of bloatedness, I would recommend going the unflavored one. That seems to work pretty well, and you can always add your own flavors later. So in wrapping up, guys, what I'd uh, really like to say is that carbohydrate dose, you don't need to be afraid of it. In fact, it's a really important aspect. And if you've seen the, one of the previous videos that Ingrid and Renata talked about with excess calories to help build your muscles, to help grow in the off season, Vitago is a very important aspect of that, um, or your high glycemic carbohydrates. Any high glycemic carbohydrates around train time, spiking insulin, creating that phase of growth really important and even throughout the dieting process I know that some people will get caught up in a dieting process of oh must cut out the carbohydrates got to watch out for those insulin spikes because when insulin's high our body doesn't burn fat well that's not necessarily true either and in fact by having that high glycemic spike around dieting time it's going to help to prevent a lot of muscle loss okay which can happen during the dieting phase so quite important for a lot of people so that they don't lose their strength and don't lose their muscle mass while they're dieting. So uh, in the end guys, don't be afraid of your carbohydrate intake, don't be afraid of insulin, they're both your best friends.